Hey everybody, Guy from Ajax here. Welcome to the Daily 5 and 9, where I try to win five Splinterlands matches before I lose five. And I record the matches in real time so you can hear my stream of consciousness thinking while I set my strategy. Web3 strategy games like Splinterlands are the best and gamers need more of them to choose from. That's why I'm developing a Web3 basketball strategy game called Geeked Out Basketball. Links are in the description below. Now, let's get rolling on today's matches. Okay, had a hard time getting going in February uh, with the Daily 5 and 9s anyway. I've been doing content around... Uh, the Fiend giveaway, the top legendary cards, rankings, uh, etc. So this is actually the first 5 and 9 for February. So let's jump in. I have been playing. Uh, you see I've kind of burned my ECR down to 78 a little bit. But uh, let's see if we can turn it around and get closer to Diamond 3 with a strong 5 and 9 today. All right. Uh, what doesn't kill you? Fire and Regret. Aimless. 38 mana. Everything except Earth and Death. With this rule set, you could definitely see fire. Oh, they have Yoden. <laughs> Hopefully, fire and regret will keep my opponent from using Yoden. They really like to use Yoden. Uh, no earth is on the table. We could see some water. Hmm. All right. Fire and regret, aimless, and then essentially spreading fury. How do I want to play this one? I think I'm going to lean into Wraith in the re... Yeah, no, actually, we already have Fire and Regret, but you know what I also want to do? I'm this scared of Yoden, even with Fire and, Re and Regret, that I'm going to play the Time Meddler here. Or not the Time Meddler, but the Rune Mancer Atuat, so we can also nerf any, any archery that's coming my way. That's how scary Yoden is to me. <laughs> Uh, what else do we want to do? Um, ba -ba -bum. I think in terms of a tank-like monster, I'm going to play Pelicor Conjure because I'm anticipating some magic if we don't have Yoden. Uh, I think we're also going to go... I think I can go Stitch Leech, which I really like. And then we've got 18 mana and 3 spots. Which means, I mean, my mind instantly goes to these, these three men. You know, I I'd like this play because with the um, scatter shot, essentially the aimless, I think we can do a lot of cool stuff. So Rune Mancer Atuat does have um, last stand, but I'm not going to worry about positioning him at the end. Yeah, look at this. Even with fire and regret. They're, they're bringing Yoden at me. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm glad I'm nerfing their buff on archery with Atuat. And let's let's hope we can we can knock some of this out. Okay, they're going right at my stitch leech. There goes my stitch leech. Okay. okay, they took out my Supply Runner. My Arbalest is on its last leg. Okay, there goes there. Okay, and there goes the... Um, I can never remember the name of that eagle. T Tower Griffin. Tower Griffin. Okay, there goes my Arbalest. Shoot, we got their Striker down to one, but he's hanging around. Yeah, dang. Okay, I'm going to get a last stand, but I just I don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, they've got this um, Magnor sitting in the tank position, and boom, done. Okay, that was, even with Fire and Regret, that was a really strong Yoden lineup. It's been kind of a grind getting out of uh, Gold 1. Gold's always tough, right? Fire and Regret, armored up. Back to basics, okay? And Earth and Death are on the table. Good chance I'm going to get a Lux coming at me this time. All right, so how do I want to play this? Usually when it's these two splinters on the table, I like to go Death to kind of counter and nerf some of the magic. And uh, we're going to lead with Curse Windaku. And then, oh wait, no, it's back to basics. Come on now, come on, think this through. 
Come on, guy, think this through. Perhaps Earth is my best play here, actually. Yes, back to basics. I think Earth, I think that puts Earth squarely on the table and just start tossing some magic at my opponent, which is exactly what they're going to do to me. So how do I want to do this? Yep, go with the Flory. I like her. And then I think this, I like playing the Slip Spawn and back to basics and just get some pure, you know, four magic offense going at my opponent. And now I have four monsters and 14 mana to work with. What's the right play? I like going Regal Periton and back to basics because you're just, you're leaning into that high speed, which is pretty powerful. And what other high speed magic monsters can I throw at my opponent? Mm -hmm. Let's just look at magic. I guess the shaman's probably the best one, but that only leaves me with a one and a zero. Hmm. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, I mean, the shaman speed isn't that great. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go... Magi of Chaos, let him sit back here. We're going to go Hill Giant. And then we're gonna go with the um, the Fiend up here and boom. <laughs> Just in the nick of time, seven seconds left. Yet my opponent also coming at me with magic. Not surprising. I guess my only hope here is that I'll have more powerful cards. Interesting they're putting the Dampier in the tank position, I really don't understand this lineup, if I'm being completely honest. But who am I to judge? Usually when I doubt an opponent's lineup, they beat me. Okay, there goes my hill giant, there goes my fiend. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Great, I mean, yeah. I think that was just too odd of a lineup. Putting Starting off with the Ulof Dampir in the tank, just really, I don't know. There it goes. Perfect. 1-1. One, one. Okay, Lost Legendaries, 27 mana, and everything is on the table. Looks like my opponent has a pretty, you know, go not max level, but gold level summoners in play, and I could get anything. Look at this. Life, Dragon, Death, Earth, Dragon. <laughs> I mean, chances I'm going to get Dragon... Even though these look like high mana battles they were leaning into with Dragon. Well, Lost Legendaries, too. A lot of the best cards are off the table. You know, I just... Clearly, my opponent mixes things up enough. No sense trying to predict. I think I'm just going to play my game. So let's try... Uh-oh. Just froze. Dang, my computer just froze. Let's hit refresh. And hope that it'll pick back, pick back up. Ah, Splinter Lands. Exit. Let's try something here. And hopefully I can get back in time. Yeah, great. Okay. So, Lost Legendaries. I really have no idea. I think I just got to play my game which means I'm going to play Water. And we're going to go Demon Shark. We're going to go Deep Lurker. We're going to look at the awesome three mana monsters. I can play with three of them. You know, I kind of want to get Igor in here stunning as well. I want to be healing. And we want to put the Tide Biter in play. And you know what? I'm going to... I'm going to... Yeah, we're going to go... Um, ba -ba -ba. Yeah, there's no legendaries. I think this is the way to play it. Or I could lose the Uraeus. Or I could lose the Medali Guardian, actually. How important is it to me to have the stun or the healing? All right, let's do it. Yeah. I have a couple poisons in there. I'm going to be healing the Demon Shark. The Tide Biter is great offense coming from the from the reach position. We need to we need to rip through this this conjurer as quickly as possible. 
and you're not going to do it like that. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we poisoned their harpy. Po okay, eliminated the scrapper. Ah, keep missing on the conjurer. Yeah, that's what you get. I mean, it's why the conjurer is good at what it does. Okay, there goes their harpy, but still, they've got some strong offense in play. Okay, landed it, got the double hit. Great, there goes their Gen Renova. I think we're going to recover from Yep, we are. Great, okay, 2-1. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, let's keep it going. Okay, we have Earthquake, Silent Summoners, Broken Arrows, 58 mana, and everything's on the table again. So my opponent does like to play some magic. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm thinking it's going to be magic, but I mean, it could be dragon too. It's Broken Arrows and, Ur I mean, Earthquake, I think, you have to go dragon, right? But it's also silent summoner. So let's just play quicks. And get a lot of these flying monsters into play. Which means it's either... It's either earth, broken arrows. Yeah, yeah we're going to go earth. Because I like a lot of these... There's a, between... Usually dragon with either earth or life, you're going to get a lot of good flying monsters. So I definitely want to get Chaos Dragon into play. I think Pelicor Mercenary. Let's get the two fives, Regal Periton and the Void Dragon. And then that doesn't, uh, let's see, 45, yes, great. And then I could just look for a really strong eight mana monster. Which my mind instantly goes to Jin, Tawa, Jin Chawala, which means I can also protect the mercenary a little bit. I just don't like not having that instant offense. What do I, I mean? I could go Runic Skyclaw. Oh no, there's no archery. There's no archery. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's the play. Or I could put Goblin Psychic into play and be healing the mercenary. Hmm. Nope, we're going to go Jinchwala. I'd like her offense. She brings enough to the table offensively. I don't like, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't like this usually is having a, not having all six monsters bringing offense on the first round. But, yep, let's roll with it, see what happens. Okay, the long tail doing its job, soaking up a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of attacks from my opponent. Okay, we need to get that slip spawn out of there. I kind of wish I had a rune crafter or something in play right now. Okay, we need a, a nice backline hit from the chaos dragon here. Okay, that'll. Well, I would have liked to have gotten the. Micella out of there. Okay, now, now the Micella's gone. The Psychic will be gone next round. The question is, can my monsters hold up? Okay, Chaos Drag. Great, great, great. Needed that. It's kind of a fun match. Okay, there goes their Slip Spawn. Finally. That was stubborn. Mm. I mean, it's going to be Chaos Dragon versus Kron. You know, which one's going to it's going to be more impactful, I guess. Looks like the Chaos Dragon has the edge. The Void Dragon was doing its job being kind of stubborn. We are going to get... Uh, are we going to... Yeah, we're going to get a last stand out of Kron, which isn't great. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, we're getting... up. Uh, wait, what happened? I missed something. No last stand. Okay. Good, 3 1. 3 1. 
I'll have to go back and watch the tape, see why Kron didn't last stand. All right, Melee Mayhem, Noxious Fumes, Rise of the Commons, everything except Earth and Dragon. So no Harclaw and no Reveal. Oh, actually, Revealer might be on the table here. Good chance I'm going to get a Lux. Noxious Fumes. I bet it's going to be Lux with Water, and I bet they're going to have a River Nymph in play. And I'm probably going to do something cellar. All right. Um, do I want to try Archimus in the tank and have River Nymph cleanse it? And then... Uh, I don't really know where I'm going here. Honestly. You know, I'm going to try something here, though. Because I'm going to get, with Archimus, I'm going to get armor. So we're going to go Pasibilis. And give me a little bit more health, plus two health to absorb some of these. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. It's Melee Mayhem. Let's just keep Kelly in there. Don't overthink this. And then... Guess the question is, what other large mana monsters do I want in here? Hmm. Hmm. I want to get the Deep Lurker, so I have 18 mana. Okay, let's go Coastal Nymph, and you know what? Let's go 11 Defender. And we're going to put the Demon Shark here. Just because if he can hang around long enough and the Coastal Nymph can de-poison him if 11 Defender doesn't last very long. Okay, good. Archimus is going to get a hit on their Mycelic Infantry to have the offense. Yeah, great. Coastal Nymph took out the... Um, the monster. Yep. Okay. Okay, now my coastal nymph is gone, so my demon shark will not get depoisoned and will not get cleansed. I like saying depoisoned more. It's more fun. Okay. Okay, they ooh. Shattered my um yeah, well, I guess with um with uh, I always forget the name. Um uh, uh, this with this summoner, yeah, you're gonna get some shatter in play, which is great. Ooh. Okay, there's another Shatter. Okay, finally poisoned out there Mycelic Infantry. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I don't think Archimus is going to hold up. <laughs> now he's going to get thorned out right here. Dang, that was a good match. Okay, 3-2. Uh, that was a really good match. Ooh, I never realized this. A unit with both Blast and Snare will apply Snare to flying enemies adjacent to its target. It's good to know. Okay, up to 11 Lost Legendaries unprotected. We have Water, Death, and Dragon, 29 mana. Hmm. I mean, with this mana count, I have a, it feels like I'm going to get Water. Uh, but also, unprotected makes water less appealing. I'm going to lean into death, because I really like playing Curse Windaku and unprotected. And then also, Silent Shavi and Uraeus, and just like double, double whammy their anchor. And let's get a Life Sapper and a Bonesmith in here. And then, you know... I think this is shaping up nicely because now the Shadow Snitch can also hit from the Reach. The Shadow Snitch is kind of an unrated little card. <laughs> it wins a lot for me, and it, it's kind of surprising. And I wouldn't even guess it. It doesn't feel like when I play it I'm winning all the time, but then when I look at the data, it seems to always be in my top 10 winning as cards. I think, uh, you know, I put out a monthly series, 10 cards that simply win. And it seems to always be in there. It's it's always there as one of the 
highest winning percentage cards in my deck. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we thorned out the Demon Shark, but he took out my Windaku. And they are triaging their Wave Brood, which is frustrating the heck out of me. Okay, there goes their Tide Biter. There goes my Shadow Snitch. Okay, finally, that was the key. We got the Angelic Mandarin into the tank position. Okay, it's 4 2. Let's win one more and uh, call this a day. And then hopefully for, for tomorrow's 5 and 9, I can get into. Get in. I mean, it'd be great if I could get into Diamond 3, but tomorrow's 5 and 9. All right, Aim True, Healed Out, Rise of the Commons. Been getting that a lot today. Water, Earth, and Life with 26 mana. Again, you could definitely see Lux being on the table. Yeah, I mean, they like to play light Lux with Life, which makes sense because Life has the weaker summoners. Wraith is strong, but I'm not always very excited to play Sloan. Okay, Aim True is on the table, no healing. Hmm. I like playing life a lot of times when aim true happens, and ironically, I was just kind of like bad mouthing, but I'm gonna lean into Sloan, and here's why. Um, we're going to one to it with these two: Pelicor, Arbalest, and Supply Runner, and then I'm also going to play Stitch Leech, which a lot of times I get frustrated when the Stitch Leech is missing its shots, and so I think we'll go Harpy. Actually, you know, I'm not going to go Harpy. I'm going to go Sunkai Harvester, which I think is a bit of an underrated card. And then I think I'm going to protect my... Yeah, I'm going to protect my archery monsters with the Chaos Agent. Protect from sneak attacks. So what was it? It was healed out, aim true... And what was the other one? I really hope it wasn't Fog of War. Because <laughs> I have Stitch Leech in there. And then it will have unnecessarily put the Chaos Agent in the anchor position. I'm pretty sure it's not Fog of War. I'm holding my breath. Oh yeah, Rise of the Commons. Rise of the Commons. Great. Okay. Okay, let's get that stubborn infantry out of there. I'm sure they're saying the same about my conjurer. Wish they just eliminated my conjurer. Okay. Oh, it's the same thing. My, uh, yeah, dang it. My archery monsters are just getting pushed into, into the tank position too quickly. All right, look at that. Maybe I should have heeded my own warning on being underwhelmed by Sloan. 4-3. We're already up at 23 minutes. Let's let's close this one out. Melee Mayhem, Reflection Shield, 13 mana. I mean, Melee Mayhem. Do we just do this? Windaku. Uh, it's either I go Crypt Beetle or I go Kinjo. For all his buffs, the shade, and then just in case there's a sneak monster, we'll let Corpse Fiend do his thing. And there, I mean, we're gonna see a Windicoon from them too, I'm sure. Yeah, Windicoon and Uraeus, interesting. Yep, okay. So my Kinjo won't get thorned, but I guess the question is I mean, I think with heal, oh, my Kinjo also won't get hit. But, you know, that put the Uraeus on. Yeah, and then they poison my my, my Windicoo. Not great. Because now my Windicoo is going to be eliminated, and they got me. Yep. Okay, 4-4. Four, four. Here's the rubber match. Am I going to win today or lose today? Start off February with a win or a loss. Okay, standard. 23 mana, fire, earth, and life. Yeah, I could. I don't know what to get expect here either. All right, I'm going to just melee the heck out of them. 
with a tusk the wide for the double buff, the double melee buff. And then I definitely want Tenny Striker in play. And then the question is, do I want to go Radiated Brute and one of the three mana monsters? Or do I want to put both three mana melee monsters in play? And that leaves me with two. Uh, yeah, and Drusco Zenith Archer for something different. And then Scorch Fiend, I guess, to be a warm body. Yeah. I, don't, I usually don't worry too much, you know, about protecting the Zenith Archer in the anchor position. Because she has decent, um, she has about five health at the lo level I have her at. So, I'll, you know, a lot of times I'll consider letting her play. Plus, you know, she doesn't really bring much to the table other than straight archery. So if I lose her more quickly, then I don't worry about it. Whereas, I kind of like keeping Uraeus, Tenny Striker, and Serpentine Spy out of the tank position as long as possible and just let them continue to pelt the back line. Okay, they're gonna make me, they're really making me wait for my ninth match of the day. Okay, moving a bit slow. Kind of hoping I can finish this season in champion. First time ever. I feel like I have the deck. Maybe I need to level up a few more cards. But I've maxed out a lot of cards. Especially a lot of rares and a lot of legendaries. The commons and the epics I'm a bit behind on. Hmm. Let's give this a little refresh. Nope, still moving slow. <laughs> Am I going to win my ninth match today on a surrender? Honestly, I'll take it. <laughs> Even though I really want to see my, uh, my melee lineup and how they do. I might have to get another 100 to 200 Chaos Legion packs. I think I'm about one more major pack purchase away, 200 packs, and then I think after that I can just start cherry picking cards to, to max out my deck. I need to get some Jeopardy music going. Hmm. I think I may have a forfeit on my hands. Yep. Okay. Well, there it is. Five and four to start the month. Everyone have a great day. We'll talk tomorrow. Bye-bye.